Hey, this video is going to be a real short one. It's how to add an extension called Save to Google. Um, it's this little icon up here in the corner that looks like a yellow star. Um, and I'll tell you why you want to use it. All right, so once you're logged into Google up here with your user ID or on a Chromebook, you're going to click on the Apps button over here on a PC. And a Chromebook, you go down to the Start button and then go to All Apps. And then you'll find the Web Store here. Okay? Or you can type in chrome.google.com slash web store to get there. Okay? Once here, you're going to search for Save to Google. And then down here under the extensions, you're going to see the Save to Google extension. You'll click the plus Add to Chrome button, and it'll install this extension on your Chrome account, your Google account. So no matter where you're logged in with your bull John at shenschools.org or yours, you'll be able to have access to this. The reason why this one's nice is it allows our students capability they don't currently have. Our students cannot save their bookmarks here at Shen. The, the main reason for that is we don't want them accidentally merging their parents' personal bookmarks from home into their shenschools.org account and then having both sets of bookmarks in there. So we've shut off that feature for our um, teachers. Okay, so you got to use the save to this page button up here to Google. So when you're on a page that you want to save, so I'll just go back to that one that I had a second ago, which was the um, museum. Okay, I have natural history. I click this button here. And it'll drop down a save to Google screen. You can click the plus add tags and you can tag a website with multiple tags. And then you can sort it by any of those tags. So it's really nice compared to a regular bookmark. This one you're allowed to bookmark in multiple categories. So when I click my view saves here, it shows me all of the bookmarks that I have organized in these little squares. But if I want to narrow it down, I can type social studies oops, and hit enter, and then it will show me only the sites I've tagged with the social studies tag, or that I've tagged with um, math, for instance. Okay, and so you can quickly cross file. You'll notice this new ZLA one was both in mass, math and in social studies. So you can quickly um, sort your bookmarks and file them in multiple categories, and that's using the Save This Page uh, Google extension. So it's good for you, it's good for your students.